Last Friday, we got pictures of the first physical gamma built. So I'm gonna go through the photos. I just took these from the video so we can look at them in more detail. This one, I this is the original from the video and I just kind of lightened it up just to see if there's anything. The only thing I really noticed is that I don't believe this is a finished car just yet. Part of that thought is, I seem like this is a plug. I don't know if that's maybe for lighting or if it's actually just powering that turret because maybe the internals aren't quite done yet. There's also no side mirrors either. So I think this is you know, still being built out, but just enough to show the interior, which is fine. Looks really good. Nothing really else. Nothing else of interest in this image. This is a nice view of the front. I like the more subdued logo. It blends in a bit more. Better view of the front. Light. And we finally got the nice view of the wheel covers. It looks like they have three spots that they go in. I don't. Pretty sure I don't see any cabling here. So that's another reason why I think this isn't all the way complete yet. Have this. I'm wondering if this lights up. I'm thinking it does, but we'll see. Just a little closer view of that. This is the hinge for the door opening. Looks very solid. Here's a strut here that's pushing it up. So it's got like direct support there. Kind of see being pushed up more there. And then better view of that being fully extended. And this flip here is for hip protection from side impacts. So it will be a little bit of an adjustment, kind of like a race car, really. So just something to adjust to, which is fine. Yeah, nothing else of note here. You can kind of see how the top has this clear plastic for the, I assume the turn signals possibly, or just running lights. The turn signals might be part of this actually but no confirmation on that. Here's the back. That's how they kind of get it to a really fine edge. They just kind of have plastic here and then the lights are embedded a little deeper for aerodynamics. Here's the rear. It looks like that's the brake lights. This, a lot of people think this is the light. I agree with them that could, I'm thinking it has another function, but to be determined. And this is a motorcycle plate size, which is about you know, four inches tall. And there's no way a CCS1 would fit in the slot they have now. So that's most likely going to be a Tesla plug. I don't see them going with just level two alone. So I'm thinking that's going to be a Tesla plug, which is fine. There's plenty of power for that Terra. And this is kind of the, oh, it looks like when it's closed, and this is the vent for the interior air, comes out the back. You can kind of see this is like the, that foam material that absorbs impact. Pretty sure that's what that is, it's kind of the same thing that's on the, the wheel covers. Pretty sure this is just the front window. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm thinking that's the door open. And this looks like it's a front proximity sensor. So probably for parking, this will help sense how close you are to the objects, which is a really nice thing to see there. And there's some of the impact material there. And then the running lights or turn signals. Just a different view of the side. I'll light up. They didn't show any of these screens on. 
and this is seatbelt fabric. So before it was kind of like a little loop that you hold on to, but it looks like this is seatbelt material now that you just kind of pull on. So it will last better, I believe. And all this is pretty simplistic, which I like. You can kind of see the hinge more up here. a different view of the back. I'm pretty sure this is the Vita interior. I'm curious what the other two are like. I, I'm actually partial to the blue color, but this one's pretty cool looking too. Just a different view of the seats and the interior. Looks like there's just going to be one stock. And kind of see more how the seatbelt attaches here so you can either hold it here it might just be really flush here so maybe just grab it there and that might be to unlock the door there's something to hold on to i don't think there's going to be any storage on the door which is why because it'll just kind of fall out when it opens different view of the seatbelt and seats which look well done You can see the seatbelt going there. I wonder if this holds tension or if it might. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that works, but I'll be there next month to kind of see how this is in person. Some adjustment for the steering wheel. And I noticed this is kind of. Maybe like a little module that they can pop in. So I assume this might light up. I don't think it's functional at the moment. Another view of the seat. You can kind of see more of how the underbelly cooling would be here. You can kind of see some attachment points. And then going back to the rear. But it looks like everything is really well put together on this on this vehicle. It's looking very sharp. Steering wheel looks well made. I think people will get used to it, to the feel of it as far as the design of it. You know, I'm partial it's It would be nice to have one color, but I can kind of get what they're going for, the two-tone in the front of the car, so it matches. A little more obvious there, at least with this color scheme. Almost wonder if that's a place for your phone. I'm not really sure what that is. If you have any ideas, let me know. The seat rut or the head Rest looks good. Here's the rear. So this is the same material, the bump resistant material here and here, and it looks like it's also I thought I saw on the renders that it might be here too, but maybe they didn't decide to do that. But it looks really sharp. Very well put together. This that design's a little odd to me. It just stands out more than I think it should, but the, the front lights look really sharp. This is kind of in the dark, obviously, and I'll put a video of this kind of illuminating, but it kind of goes from here to here. Pretty cool look. Yeah, let me know if anything else you've noticed that I didn't, and Looking forward to more updates as they come in the next month. I'll be there in September 8th through the 11th to look at this in person at the, at the expo. So I'm looking forward to that. See you next time.